Joey, you've got the Hawks. When is their yeah. premiership window? Yeah, I do. Well, we'll start by having a look at what uh, they, they got in and where they finished. And as we know, not much activity ended up happening with the Hawks. Now, you know, it's interesting they say they're happy with where they're at. Ideally, we believe they would have loved another pick inside the first round to continue their rebuild. It wasn't able to happen. But Rob was right. The positive out of that is these players want to stay. Yep. So for all this instability we've spoken about, about the football club and Clarko leaving, clearly the players wanted to stay at Hawthorne and wanted to play for them. So that's a positive. In the end, they bring in young Max Lynch as a ruckman who, along with Ned Reeves, is the future in the ruck stocks. They've got Benny McAvoy, you know, for maybe a year or two left, the captain at the moment. And they've got some developing ruckmen who um, Benny McAvoy will be a wonderful mentor. You take a look at their profile. So... They had a couple of good years there, which was a bit unexpected when they played finals and, and finished high in the ladder. They've now been in the rebuild. And as we touched on earlier, Ralphie, I think I really like their list profile. I think it's in a much healthier state than people give them credit for. Earlier you showed your best 22, Ralphie, and I hope we can get that up again because, as I touched on, I think they have one of the most exciting back lines in the competition with Sicily being fully fit, Granger Brass and Will Day, uh, a top, you know, top 10 draft pick, Scrimshaw's a beauty, uh, GF we know has come along. The midfield, they're all 28. So Wingard, O'Meara, Mitchell are 28 years old. So it's not like their best football is gone. I still think they can all play you know, pretty good football for another three to four years. Um, we know a few of their older players, so McAvoy, Bruce, maybe Shields and Gunston, they're the ones on the wrong side of 30. I think they're developing quite nicely. I think this team, let's see how good a coach Sam Mitchell is and can he get them into the finals in the next two to three years, like Rob McCartney just mentioned, that they expect to play finals in the next two to three seasons, which for me leaves that window open. Open after that, so you get into the finals from 2025. I think their window is again open. It's just going to be fascinating to see what Mitchell does with this list because they weren't able to get more early picks in. I think the game's now more about top liners than ever, and your top liners come in the first 30 in the draft. You know, logically the first 10 picks in the draft. If you look at the previous four years, they've had four picks inside the top 30. Four picks is clearly the lowest across the competition, coming off the back of a successful period, so you give them all uh, the time in the world. But at some point it has to correct. Three in this year's draft, under 30, as we just heard Rob uh, talk about. But they're going to need they're going to need another three or four, probably six in the next two years, I would say. Three or four next year. They tried to do it this year, didn't work out. They've got to go again. You asked him, he's not going to declare his hand tonight. Mm. It's 12 months of pain, but... I think that they need to get that glut in within the next 12 months. Who won the premiership for Melbourne? It was Christian Petracker, it was a pick two. It was Luke Jackson, it was a pick three. It was Salem, a pick nine. Uh, I just say in Hawthorne, though, their last four weeks, they beat Brisbane by 12 points, beat a Collingwood side that was young, beat the Western Bulldogs by 27 points, and then a really banged up Richmond they drew with them. So, yeah, they've got decisions ahead, but they've got some talent. Let me ask you, before I ask you about Carlton, Joey, so they finished 14th this year, the Hawks, seven wins and two draws. What's the best result for them next year? Because with the current list they have, they're clearly expecting to improve because they've yes. kept all their older players. I think they could finish just outside the eight in that bracket from eight to 12. I mean, if Gunston and Bruce are fully fit, they're two All-Australians mm. that can kick 40-plus goals. If a fit Mitchell and O'Meara and Wingard play through the midfield with Warple, they are talented All-Australian calibre players. And with Sicily back in defence, a developing Granger, Barras and Will Day and a CJ, Hardwick, Impey, I think they can... They would, at some stage next year, we'll be thinking this team could make the eight. Yep.